All right, y'all, we're back again. Welcome back to Restoration. Yep, we're at a different spot than we normally are. And yep, we're going to pick up that mystery ride that the old man got. So maybe let's turn the camera and maybe you see, oh, there she is, that's right. 1959 Edsel Ranger. We're trying to pick it up today. Got a lot of work we need to do to her. Uh, there's the old man and yep, there's the Chevrolet. So we're gonna see if we can get this old girl up and running on this episode. Uh, but my name is David. I go by Rev here on YouTube. This is my daddy. We also call him the old man. And this is his new 1959 Edsel Ranger that we're gonna try to get up and running and uh, moving on uh, this episode. So hey, if you're interested in ugly attempts at Ford to make a new ride, maybe she ain't ugly. I kinda like it. Hey y'all, I'm Rev. This is my daddy, also known as the old man. This is my wife, my prime rib, Nikki T. Here on our channel, we enjoy bringing life back to dead things, mostly old forwards. We have many crazy methods that are ours, and we use those crazy methods on rigs that are ours. If you enjoy our crazy shade tree, cussing free, God loving, dad joke telling, tire spinning content, then subscribe. It's free. But either way, welcome to Restoration. <laughs> All right, y'all, here it is. Uh, missing a little bit of stainless here. Did you find that? It's in the floorboard. Oh, we already, old man said we got it in the floorboard. This has got a little bent, but the other one. She, she's got uh she's got two extra doors that is not needed but it is a four-door flavor if we look here i don't know what uh this person ran down through here i mean it is uh it gapped it up pretty good looked like it started about right there and went all the way down but you can see it is the ranger flavor of uh, a little bit of bondo a little bit of wood can make that happen there's a piece of chrome. Yeah, we do have a piece of chrome. That could be the reason that we got that big scar running right down the side. That ignition switch has been held in really well. Um, but y'all, there it is. Here's the other two hubcaps. <laughs> of course, a little bit about the Edsel. Uh, Ford Motor Company made Edsel, I think two years, maybe three years. Edsel was the name of his son. Uh, so he created the Edsel. Uh, kind of like Mercury, kind of like Ford. It is the Edsel. And uh, so one of the things that we're going to do is uh, the old man wants to drop these wheels and tires off and we're going to try to put it on the dolly. Uh, I think we could have driven it home, but the old man says he didn't want to. I don't think we could have drive it home. A little bit of work for sure. Let's see the last tag. This tag is 1973. The last time this car was tagged, 71, 73, 1973. Um, trunk, trunk lids open? Yeah. Pop. Right there. Now, look at there. You still got the mat in it. I tell you all what. And the, uh, this looks good. Yeah, not rotted out. Not rotted out. Still got the original mat. Man, I'd almost like to have the Zepco spinning reel. Y'all look at there. There it is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a battery box. Tire tool. Jack handle. Uh, y'all, we got a... I promise y'all we got a bunch of car. I mean, a bunch of car here that we're going to be working with. 1959, if we look here. The serial, uh, serial number here, the VIN code A9, that is 59. So 59 is right. There you brake pedal. It's got a good clutch and you no, uh, no goody at all on the brakes. But y'all look, I mean, that 59 class, look at that, look at that interior. Look at that y'all. I don't know if y'all like that or not. But that is a good looking, that's a good looking interior. She dry rotted. 
Door still shuts pretty solid. Missing the S over here. You got the E and the D. You got the E and the L, but you ain't got the et cell. I don't know, maybe a little bit of Bondo on this on this quarter. I don't know. Y'all, it's gonna be fun. Uh, old man's already jacking the tire up. I'm gonna go in, we're gonna zip these back tires off. We're gonna see if we can get the car rolling and get it out of this. We're in the bottom of a valley, so we gotta try to get it out. If we look all back over here, we gotta go from where we are here all the way up and around and around that house. And we got some thick gravel up there the old man's hoping we can get out of. We gotta have some tires turning. Getting it jacked up, old man? Yeah, we're gonna take lugs off. All right, that's my cue. Old man said a little spray paint and this old tire, wheel and tire right here will do good, but I'd say that lit right there is gone. Uh, so I'm gonna be, whoo wee y'all. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. Uh, they on there good, old man. So I need to go get my four way? No, I wouldn't get the four way. I'd get some, uh, I'd get some goodie. You got any, uh, you got any spray? Nope. <laughs> all right y'all look like muscles gonna have to do it so uh yeah i'd get the full way i'm gonna keep trying we'll see what we can get off y'all i had old seven eights on it now i got the old silver 13 i'm blocking my eyes with it so i'm gonna hope that it ain't uh it ain't gonna come out but look like it's coming off all right uh this old ant right here is not too happy with me he uh he said that i need to leave his car alone all right, jack her up, old man. There's uh, four lizards on it. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to scratch your paint up, old man. No, I have to charge you for that. <laughs> yeah. There ain't much left on it. <laughs> I want to keep what little bit I got. I'm about to set that right there. All right, y'all, we're going to... You jerking the tire off, old man? I hope so. Uh-oh. No. Good-looking tire, ain't it? Weird-looking tire. Yeah. It slide you right off the road. All right, y'all, getting a look at the frame. A little bit of rust. Of course, when I say a little bit of rust, I'm not talking about the surface rust. I just want to see if it's anything rusted through. Trunk pan, of course, there's the fuel tank. Fuel tank seems to still have a uh, fuel in it, which is good. Uh, I mean, which is not, you know, not no big rusted hole through the bottom of it. All right, y'all, we got a 15 on where 14 used to go. Drop her down, let's make sure we're not rubbing anywhere, old man. Oh, she looked like she rode okay. What room you got above it? Oh yeah, we're good. Just as long as that wood don't rub right there. You see that wood in that crack? That's just to hold the air out. You don't want no rain getting in on your, uh, in on your bed. All right, old man, let's move to the other side. Yep. Probably need them. All right, so we got two new rubbers on the on the back of the Edsel Ranger. So we're uh, all right. There's here's the old man's lizard. And get on out of here, buddy. You want to stay here with your folks, you better, if you don't want to become a Butts County lizard, you better get on out. Come on, buddy, get out of here. He's cold. Get your butt over here. You got to watch catching them because them old back tails will break right off. I didn't want to do that to this old boy. So maybe he'll get off. Huh? Whew. Y'all, you need to know, you need to know every time I come back on camera, I'm out of breath. So y'all think the old man's the only one that does hard work. I'm the only one that films. So, uh, whoo, old man, that you wore me out. Toe dolly over here. I moved a toe dolly 20 feet, but I had to maneuver it about 17 times. So that means like I moved a toe dolly like 175 feet, it wore me out. We didn't even get no breakfast this morning, y'all. No hot peanuts or nothing. <laughs> so, uh, 
we're gonna get this all that so loaded up and hopefully drug back to the house you ready old man yeah. you got to hook the trailer up now right I gotta, yeah i gotta load Whew. i gotta get the chain up under it we'll be back y'all okay. The, the the hook is on the end that I got the hole in. So this is this chain. You don't want it that way? Uh -uh. Hook. Hook, the, hook the hook. Unhook the hook and hook the hook in the very last chain where I have a big old circle. Oh, he wants a big loop. You hold this. All right, y'all. I'm going to do what he wants. You want it like that? No, 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 no. How you want it, old man? Let me see the camera. You hook it. You hook the chain, this kind, right like that. Well, that's what I was going to no, same you, thing. Well, it wasn't usually a hook, hook. Now you pull right here, and we're good. Lay it down and get up. <laughs> old man still tells his old boy how he wants it done. Y'all reckon it would have worked my way? We're gonna do it the old man's way because this is his car. He paid, well, he ain't even paid for it yet. We're hooking it up to the dollar, he ain't even paid for it yet. The old man said that we bought it from, so you can write a check, put it in the fire truck. <laughs> That's the first time we bought a car by putting a check in the fire truck. Ugh. This way. Well, we're gonna find out when you get to jacking it up. Look at there, y'all. The keyhole is actually in. Look at that. The keyhole is actually in the push button. That's matching real hard. My lord. You got to do it, old man. There it is. The old young buck didn't know how to open the door. All right. We may not get this thing up on that. <laughs> Something's stuck. Is that tire turning? Yeah, it ain't nothing turning yet. You ain't got up on it. <laughs> uh oh y'all we'll be back what happened what broke the hook come off oh that's break it just come on down it slipped out of my thing well, we pulling some heavy stuff so you got to get it rolling first old man you want me to do that don't let that chain come back and get you now what what's happening looks like my camera alone ain't pulling now that only come more. along you got? No, I got two more, but this is... That's your best one. All right, you're getting ready to pull it up on it. Watch your hand now. All right, just I'm gonna straighten the wheels up now. Both wheels, both wheels are on the ramp. Fit on the back of here, it's perfect. All right, go. Run it straight up will be good, right? Yep. I got air here if you want to pump up the tire. Let's go. I know this one's turning. The other one's got to be turning too, I guess. You don't get it one here. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, I ain't got enough hind in. Take both hands. You want me to Come hold on, the camera? big Edsel. You want me to hold the camera? Oh, I don't care. Ooh, might just stay away from the cable. Is it over yet? Let me look. Nope. When it starts rolling now, it's gonna come fast. Come on, baby. We're halfway over the big hump. When this goes down, you know the tire's on it. <laughs> Look, this white wall is over here is wrinkled. Look at that wrinkled up white wall, y'all. <laughs> My shaking. You want me to finish it? I'd be glad to finish it. They got about two more hooks and it'd be easy. 
<laughs> you want something to wrap around it though? It's split. Does that mean you got no handle on it? Somehow it's separate. Here we go. Come on down, Betsy. Or Edsel. Is it up on it yet, old man? Not all the way. Woo, my Lord Almighty. You're a little bit over the hump. It ought to be getting easier if these tires are turning good. This tire ain't turning. I see now. This tire ain't turning. This one ain't turning. Whew. Good time to tell me. It's just sliding. It's coming now. See it? See the trailer going down? See the trailer right there? The rail's going down, too. Yeah. You want me to finish it? I got enough strength now to finish it. Who? It's down. You know what? We might be running out of uh Woo! Ooh, we're about to tear this brake. We're about to break this <sighs> All right. She's up there. You don't have to hook her to a tree to grab her or I'll turn her off. You know what we gotta do? What? We gotta loosen this up, bite more on the chain where I got more to pull the finish pull of it. Oh you ain't got no more to pull. Oh we gotta pull another inch on this side. Oh, she's up. She's up on this side. Oh yeah. She ain't going nowhere, old man. You gonna run her off over here. Hold on, man. See? That's gonna break. Right See? Oh, it done broke the boat out of it. The boat fell out. All your little extra little pushes and pulls. <coughs> Let's lock her down. Mama said it's another piece of junk, didn't she, Daddy? Yeah. She ain't even saw it yet, and I believe she'd already say that. Yeah, because when I come look at it, I parked on the other side of that shop up there and had to walk around here. So she couldn't see it? Yeah. That's smart. That's smart, all right. That's the way we have to work these things. Yeah. Old man, I talked to the guy that used to own this car right up the hill. Yeah. You know, he said he used to work for an origami company. Did you hear that? Origami, yeah, he said he uh, he worked there until the company folded up. <laughs> he worked there until it fo folded. Nicky T got mad at me the other day. I was letting ice cubes come out the refrigerator and hit the floor. You know, I told her, I said, well, we can sit here a few minutes and it'll just be water under the fridge. <laughs> I bet you told <laughs> Yeah, you know her well. Oh man, I thought the I thought the dryer was what was shrinking my clothes. You know what I figured out? It was a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, the refrigerator <laughs> gets all that food out of it. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I went and bought a pair, I went and bought a suit the other day and had to get a bigger suit. And then they told me I could buy all the shirts for five dollars and ninety-nine cents. I wanted. I came out about twenty-five, old man. <laughs> Half of them didn't fit, but I got them anyway. Five dollars a shirt. Everything on the shelf. I, I grabbed a bunch of them. Five dollars a piece. I treated it like it was a yard sale. You thought that was a yard sale? Uh huh. I'm just getting them all. Y'all reckon? Well, you reckon? To be honest with you, he said he'd give one of them to JC. <laughs> yeah. Tells you how small they were. Uh, yeah, I got I got two of them. They said a slim fit, and I didn't realize I wasn't slim no more. They didn't fit. They fit on my arms, they fit around my neck, but they didn't fit around my belly. But JC got him two nice shirts, uh, $5 a piece. I would have done it, I'd do it again. Some of them are ugly, some of them look like Grammy's nightgowns. I mean, just flowered in, but hey, I ain't, ain't no shame in this ball game. I'll be wearing them. Daddy, I'll be wearing them 30 years from now doing what you're doing. Yeah, like I do. Uh, yeah, just wearing them. That's about how old some of mine are. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes, right? Yeah. He won't let me get down there and do it because he don't want to lose his ex or going down the interstate. Right, do you see my record here? It's right under you. You're doing good, old man. It's pretty bad when you have to lay on the ground and do something. I was going to squat. Gonna get down there and help you, I but can't you. squat no more. Y'all reckon it'll pull it out the hole? Come on, Edsel. Oh yeah, like butter, like butter. Up, up, ho, 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 ho. Gonna bust your grill. Gonna bust your grill with this. You gonna... Did it bust? 
it was about to hang on i take that down because it was hitting back here i taped it now because every little bump every little bump you hit it was running it was bouncing back it Is this pulled, back tire running good? Huh? Everything pulled out like it's supposed to, old man. Get your tape. We gonna get in it. All we're right, y'all, we're going to tape it up. We'll be good to go. I'll get it straight. Then I'll put the tape on. Old back trunk don't latch either. Huh? Old trunk don't latch either. This door don't latch either. Yo, know, the old van and myself are having chest palpitations because uh, it's still it's cool this morning. It's hot now. Are you good, old man? Man, we ready. We can, uh, we can go ahead and put the lights on it here. If you want to. There's that it. So y'all look at her in the sunshine. Woo! That patina is horrible, but we're gonna we're gonna ride out just like it. It's gonna be dirt road worthy by the end of this episode. At least, old Chevy. Let's see if that old Chevy can pull it. Oh yeah, ain't no doubt. Look at it, riding out like it ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> that ain't smoking, y'all. That's just dust. Always treat people with the respect you want to be treated with, folks. I could have left this man's gate open if I wanted to. But would I have want my gate left open? Nope. All right, y'all, the old man's putting the, uh, putting the check in the fire truck. That's pretty good business right there. That's, that's turnkey job. Let's lift up the hood. Show, I'll let you hold the hood. Y'all, this hood's about 437 pounds. I mean, it's a uh, whoo. <laughs> Take two of us to hold it up. Still Both got the spring. The, uh, that is missing. This one broke. <laughs> yep, that could be part of it. But y'all, here it is. Uh, look, it's even got the Fomoco stamp still on it. That's pretty good. It's old Holly. Be old glass thing. It yeah. comes out there in the breather on the side. Holly the carburetor. I've never, uh, that, that's a kind of a, a neat, but I tell y'all what, it is unmolested. I mean, there is, uh, you holding it? You got yeah, it? Yeah, I got it. Now you let that thing fall. Not me. I had to run down there and get us a two before. <laughs> ain't gonna be sitting there and hold this thing. I don't reckon it's holding any juice. Look like they had some JB Weld or something on this side. Uh, generator's still on it. That's right. the ground wire. You probably hadn't done this, have you? Nope. Oh my. Look how black it is. She's, she's, uh, she's got some oil in her. You thick, dripping. too. Look how thick it is. <laughs> Whew. So you got all alternator too. Generator, right? Generator, yes. Generator in this thing. Still got the belt on it. And the belt's tight. Yeah. Uh we'll get something on the crank. I see the crank bolt heater down there. Wonder if we got a heater. It's gonna be cold next day or two. Yeah, you're gonna have to Mama have her quilt and everything. You holding it now. I'm holding it. Spark here. plug's fairly easy to get to. We'll we'll take that off here in just a second. Uh cool. 
So there she is, y'all. I believe it is an unmolested uh, automobile. Of course, we're going to see if she'll turn over here in a minute, but we're going to get her off first. Yeah. You want to get her off or you want to drive her yeah, off? Let it just down. Let it down. Woo, I'm about to switch arms. <laughs> Uh oh, you on the, you, you on the side over here. I don't think, I think it's wheels locked. Woo! That worked until it didn't. I think we still got one wheel stuck, y'all. I think this wheel ain't turning all that well. No, I don't think it's turning all at all. So you got the back wheel chopped. You're just gonna drive up Monday, Dave. Huh? And the old Edsel back here is doing fine. Dragon starter on that one. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I think we got a stuck wheel right there, y'all. That didn't work. That stuck wheel is stuck for sure. You think if I just jerk that man? That would be the better. only way I'd say it. I'd say hit it one bit hard time. Come on, Edsel. Oh, you got one hand under? Oh, yeah, I got one under it now. All right, we'll put it right in the middle. That's where we're working. You working on the side over there. Hang it off. All right, the old man put it right in the center where we're going to be working. But I mean, that's about, that's well, about right, I guess. Side to get plugs. So first thing, uh, first thing I want to do is probably 13 sixteenths on the crank there and see if we can turn the crank. If the crank turns, then we will come to the conclusion that uh, the motor's not locked. And then, did you bring any mystery oil? Yeah. Uh, then we'll pull all the spark plugs. And while we pull the spark plugs, we will uh, we'll drop a little mystery oil down in there. And then we'll try to turn it with the starter. That's the game plan. Y'all, yeah. this is an Etzel. Uh, it's made by Etzel. But it's Ford. I mean, it's kind of like a Mercury. It's got a Ford engines made by Ford. It's Mercury. This is it. They only made them for two years, I think. Uh, and the reason why is because nobody bought them. They didn't like. They were ugly. People didn't like them. But uh, now, because they only made them for a few years, they're kind of rare. Now this one's ugly. You agree, old man? Yeah. Look at him. He's just digging on in. Just digging on Look at in. That weird looking. Yep, that's a, a weird one. It ain't too weird. It's yeah. kind of normal. It's still got a Fomoco, uh, still got the Ford Motor Company, uh, everything. I mean, it's, look at there. That's, that's Ford right here. That's Fomoco. I still got the... So I bet you that's the original, wouldn't it? I would say so. I don't know how many miles it's showing, but... Still got points, still got everything, uh... The points look uh the points look bad. I mean they're, look at they're that. in the closed position right there, but them mm. things gonna have to be polished and sanded well, a little bit. Be, yeah, we'll work on that a little bit. See if we can get it started with the original equipment. Oh turn. there is no doubt that engine turned. Oh, oh. this alternator turning, but the fan ain't. The fan ain't because I'm hold, I'm holding the fan with oh, my okay. uh with my wrench. Uh, I bet I can turn a little bit now, see? Yep, fan's uh, turning. All right, so everything Generator's turning, the motor turning. is not locked up. I keep saying alternator, but that's a generator. She, she's uh, not stuck, and actually she's really free. That bad. I mean, it looks burnt. I mean, it's, it's dark. It's, yeah. <laughs> but it ain't, the tip ain't burning off. Look like it's still adjusted. Yeah, the old champion spark plug. Probably a better spark plug than what we bought, but. Let's take them all out and go from there. Get all the way on there, Charlie. You want to do like the old man? Where's your tape at? A little bit of tape, <laughs> a little bit more tape. Oh, that, that is. That is tight. I don't even. <clears throat> Coming. I don't know. Woo! <clears throat> That fellas that put these spark plugs on 47 years ago, put them on. Woo! I mean, it is might just be dry in there, old man. Put some more juice on. May not help coming out, but it'll help it going back in. Yep, we're gonna get juice on it. We're gonna get juice on it eventually. Uh, uh, I 
I'll tell you what. We had about three of them that were just that tight. That might have been the tightest one. I thought they were cross threaded, but they're not. They're just, I mean, it's just dry. <clears throat> We're gonna hit them all with a little ooga dooga. Well, I'm glad they ain't oily on the top. Yeah, they're not oily <laughs> for sure. But it's gonna smoke That's a little a... bit when we crank it up here in about two minutes. We're gonna have to put some stuff in that thing. I'm going and hit them all now. You wanna hit them with that? I'm gonna hit them with this and then hit them with some. Whatever you want to put in it. Oh, that one's got a little wet. oil. Well, that one's wet because all that spray we oh, just yeah, put on. Sprayed it twice. It. Yep. Okay. All right, y'all. This is our old ground wire. I think uh, something done burn it or or the got a little hot. Dry dryness come off one. Could be forty years. Yep. I, I'd probably be that old if I was. We got a spot over here that's just not good. Well, can't get in there. Can that ain't. Ain't too bad. Oh yeah, that's clean. Well, she's ready for some spray now. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, the old man's gonna hit the key and I'm gonna hold this right here and let's see what it squirts out. All right, first turn over. I hope the starter works. That starter is slow. Good. Turn it over. I'm trying to find Alright. Somebody put a new switch on it. Well, that wherever you got it now is not the own position. Turn it to on. I'm hitting it to start and turn it Alright, well it only has fire. When it's in the start position. Yep, so you're that mean the core, uh, condenser's back? That means the switch ain't ain't right. Cause it should have fire to the coil when the ignition switch is on or otherwise it ain't gonna run. So we have to put a jumper wire on it right now. Yep. All right, well they, they are breaking. Ain't no fire? Now, I don't see any, but I mean, it's breaking big time. Okay, well, uh, we need to sand them, I know. Tell me when I'm on the high, on the top. We're gonna run a hot wire to the coal because it'll never run without it. Um, and then we, the old man wants to sand the points, which we'll need it. I'm going to have to set the points because I mean, they're gap like a, a match stick, not a, not a match board. Uh, so we're going to, uh, we're, I'm going to set the points so it'll fire correctly. And, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Everything's working the way that it should be, except we're not getting, it's not grounding out at the point. So what we've got to do is we're going to sand to make sure we're getting contact at the point. Uh, the points is this here. We have new points, but we'd rather not have to use it because uh, everything works except when it is breaking. The only place that grounds out is the point. And then when it breaks is when it tells this coal to fire and it shoots fire through uh, the coal, through the wire to this. And then that tells the engine spark plug when to fire so that's how that works so uh if you didn't understand that then rewind it because i probably couldn't say it again better maybe a little stronger old man was arguing with me that them points might not have been bad but uh i, th I don't think we was getting a good ground or something but let me show y'all what it's doing all right old man go go hit now see this light now i've got hot wire automatically to it and it's gonna blink whenever he uh that tells us that it is firing the way that it is supposed to. So I think we can put spark plugs on it. You want to keep that condenser. That condenser may work. And you can even keep these points if you believe these points will work. But you know what, old man? I don't see the point in it. You get it? Yeah, I don't see a point in it either. <laughs> All right, here is the last uh, NGK plug the old man is putting in. And I'm telling y'all what, the old man is spending some money on spark plugs now. Uh, he said it ain't got but six of these, so we got all the spark plugs in it. All right, y'all, we, uh, we got her loosened up. I don't think there's any gas in it, so we're not flooding it. See if we can drop fuel. And if you look there, it's, it's filling up in. the bowl. Let me clean that thing a little bit. We're going to have a clean thing. 
the old man is wanting us Ooh, to show that off. Spit shine that thing. Wipe that dust off. Little holly glass bowl there. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah, I'd hate to take in four screws out because I guarantee you we couldn't stop it from leaking if we took it off. <laughs> so we're going to uh, get the float floating. If the float will float. There's little particles in there, old man. What's them little particles doing? I see air bubbles. That's all I want to see. I don't want to see all that nastiness. Does it look like the float's floating to you? I can't tell if it went up or not. No. no. I think we got a stuck needle in the seat. All right, y'all. First time, 1959 Edsel, made by Ford, but it is an Edsel Ranger. It's got a 223. Maybe we didn't say that. Six in a row. I hope she'll go. Uh, we've got fire now that we know coming out of the coal. We got fire going to the spark plugs. We now have gas in the carburetor, and the old man's going to be able to control the foot feed a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, he's going to try to crank it without me putting fire to the coal, and then I'm going to put fire to the coal, and hopefully she's going to crank. So, old man, let's see if she'll crank. First time since 1983, let's just say 30-plus years. Seems like no fire, and boy, it's turning slow. All right, let me put some fire to her. All right, hit it. Come on, baby. I ain't patting it, I pat so? I'd do something different, because we ain't doing it without that. Is that starter, is the starter dead, y'all? Is the starter dead? Go ahead. All right, y'all, we got a different battery. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. All right, y'all, we did just a little something different. Hit it, old man. Ooh, All right, no, y'all. Uh, everything on here is adjustable, so let's uh, go roll them around and let's make sure they're going up now. All right, old man's gonna hit it and we'll see if it's going up and down. Every one of them. I think just not turning over fast enough. You know? I think we got a starter issue, old man. All right, y'all, day one was an epic failure. So uh, we don't know if we need a better battery. We don't know if we need a better starter. We really don't have a clue. We think this starter. What starter is hot, hot. This is starter. So uh, old man says it's the starter. So we're going to go from there. Uh, could this be a bad connection on the starter? We really don't know. Uh, but it is not turning it over fast enough to crank it. We're assured of that. So uh, we'll probably see you uh, tomorrow sometime. We hope. I got a lot to do. Hopefully we can get to it before the rain. All right, y'all, here we are day two. Yes, uh, probably you're, we don't have much lighting in here. I'm in my garage. Uh, the old man is actually uh, coming. We're gonna try. Uh, this starter, of course, has this worm gear. This is the Bendix. We have to depress this to get this pin out so all this can come off and go on the new starter. Right here, punch it right on out. I got it. All right. Yeah, when I ease off, maybe it won't jump out on us. Well, Whoa, I gotta get the punch out, don't we? Wait a yeah, minute, let me get it back center, in there. The center is, uh, the center is out too. All right, y'all. Probably ain't the way it's supposed to work. That center has got a spring. I didn't know that it had that. Yeah, this one did. Yeah, but I didn't know. That's, it bit it. All right, let's see if it'll pull out. Pull out, simple as a piece of cake. It stays together. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is, a, this is a deal that we now have to put on the new starter. Um, this slides on. We gotta line the hole up. 
Oh, right there. Should be. Now I can turn the starter a little. Uh oh, that ain't yeah, gonna work. We're gonna have to put something. What the we're gonna have to put something at the base to hold. Yeah, because that ain't gonna work. Well, hold on. Keep pushing. Push it harder. See if I can get this in here. And then you can just slide it up. Keep going. You can't get it where I can get this punch into that hole? I'm putting 260 on it. All right. Oh. Now. Pull it up. Well, that's easy. All right. Now we're talking. Now if we can get it all the way. Well, wait a minute. It should be right in there somewhere. Well, you got to put right it down there. where I can hit it. Come first. You got to put this four. It started. Well, wait, oh. Get off that vise. Let's get back here on the hammer. Boy. Well, Daddy, you got to get the hole. I know. Y'all, are we trying I to? I think it's right there. You were. Let, let me let me control that. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. I'm gonna punch it down in there to clear that. We'll be in business. Right, I thought that gotta... was gonna be harder than that. I tell you what, as many cars I worked on, I ain't never seen no starter like this. I ain't worked on a six cylinder, I don't get huh? Ah. Let's put it back in here now. Alright, now you can get it. Whoa. I don't have to hold it stronger. There you go. Right, see if it goes up now. Yeah. Alright. We're in, folks. Hi, well, we're back at the old man's. I forgot they have an appointment today. I had an appointment this morning, so I don't know how much we're going to get done. We hope to get it done a bunch. But if you see, yep, we figured out the armature, the, uh, what is it called? Something drive. This is the bench. The, the drive gear on the drive starter. Drive. Uh, this one won't retract. No. Oh. So we had a bad starter and we had a bad starter drive the Bendix. We're going to put a new one on it, new starter. We're going to jam it in the car. So that's the goal. Well, so far we have installed the new starter, installed the new coil. We've got a new starter wire. Of course, that's all solenoid. of it. Solenoid. I'm sorry. Coil uh, we ain't put on yet. Turn your battery around. Oh, no. uh we're gonna see if she'll crank uh we actually have our coal hooked up it's turning over faster um hopefully uh with a little bit of fuel in it she'll crank so hit it old man ah uh -huh, she's firing <laughs> firing she's wanting to yeah, she wants to all right we're gonna check fire to uh, the copper to the spark plug so hit it old man it's getting I mean it's fist firing it's firing pretty strong Let's spray some more ether in it. See if that's what it fired. You ready? All right, y'all, we got a new Blue Streak coal on it. You ready? Yep. She ain't firing no differently than she was before. Well, that's carburetor than gas. Either we've got too much mystery oil that we ain't getting out of it yet. We're gonna look at the points again, and uh, we're gonna do a few more things. We're gonna figure this thing out. Hopefully it starts, it starts raining again. Y'all, I think <laughs> I figured out why they stopped making Etzels. They ain't easy like Fords or Chevrolets. Because, I mean, Ford or Chevrolet, we'd already be booging it up and down the road. This thing is just, it's aggravating. But we're going to get it, y'all. promise. We don't give up around here. Um, We don't give up. Even when we want to, we don't give up. The old man, we don't give up. 
this is what happens when you're uh, in a hurry and you're frustrated and all these kind of things, but we, uh, we're going to make it happen. All right, y'all, buttons down. What we call the button, the rotor, what some people call it. We call it the rotor button, and uh, but I don't know what it's supposed to be called. All right, where's that thing at? Some real awesome car channels can call things whatever they want to, and boy, I call a rotor a button, and boy, folks just go crazy. I've called it all kind of things, and they might call it something different tomorrow, but guess what? That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, you got it? Nope. You want me to get in there and get it? Get it back on you. Let me get it. It ain't super sure that's in the pen. It is. Go ahead. All right, we're going to crank it up this time. Hot, hot, everything's hot, everything's hot. Crank up, car. <laughs> She seems like fire? seems like she's blinking a whole lot stronger this time, from what I can tell. Go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Can we get in and push back through? Yeah, I'd be doing that the whole time. I don't think it's doing anything though. But... Crank it. It ain't cranking too good, then you're running badly. It's fully charged. <laughs> All right, Hail Mary number 38, 30, 39, hit it. Battery ain't hooked up or something. Oh, that cylinder wire is off. Wire on the cylinder. Number 40. Can't give it gas, you ain't got to do it. Hit it. Hit it. We ain't got a battery. We ain't got a battery that'll start it. The battery's dead. No. Go. We ain't doing a thing. Go. Go. All right, y'all. We have been on the struggle bus for oh, all day. Um, we have decided that it was time to go get a new rotor button, new wires. I went and robbed a carburetor off the 66 Mustang, and uh, we still don't know if any of it's going to work, but hit it, old man. I did. Oh. All right, y'all, we have a new... What we did is we went and got... You probably saw in the last video, uh, the last clip, the battery died. We put the carburetor off the Mustang. We put the wires the rotor uh we put the rotary cap uh and all the wires we put on it i uh, had to go back in and reset the points uh for whatever reason i don't know if the points are moving or what uh but old man go try to see if you can crank it and let's see she's acting was acting different a second ago let's see if she'll remain acting different you put the hot wire back on yep go Go. <laughs> We're getting closer. Temp seven thousand three hundred forty-eight. Yeah. Yep. Go. Hit it. Ooh, 
Wait. <laughs> we know that it's firing. Hit it. All right, y'all, here's try number whatever. Uh, I mean, we got a different battery. We don't know if it's got any power either. We could use a uh, we could use a battery sponsor. All right, old man, hit it and see. Uh, everything's hooked up. Come on, baby. Put a little gas that thing. Spray some meat in it. Seems like when I take. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what we did, but get out of the way. Didn't worry, Bob. That's all I'm done. I'm done this time. Woohoo! Yeah, the answer runs. Y'all figured out why they don't sell any of them, why they couldn't sell them for two years. Oh, is that carburetor or what is it? I mean, it, it ran. It ran good when it's mm -hmm. running. But we didn't have the, we ain't got the accelerator because the accelerator don't fit. So we don't know if we're getting, it's not pumping without the accelerator, right? Well, so still, carburetor still should run when your foot's off the foot feed. Car still runs, right? It's supposed but, to. But if we'd given it a little extra gas, maybe it would have. I don't know. All right. Try to crank her up again. We'll see if you we can make it run a little longer. You're going to put a little bit. Go in? ahead. No, I'm going to hit it with foot feed back here. Go. <laughs> Listen to that baby purr, baby. Woo hoo hoo! That tells me the carburetor ain't pumping right. Oh, that two cylinder should pump, though, shouldn't it? She just backfired. Go crank her up, see if we can get her to crank up for the third time. Three's out, right? Mmm. I'm gonna drive it. <laughs> But about a mile a gallon putting that mm. much gas in it would i don't know if i was flooding it or what first crank <laughs> uh, I, I was wanting it to be a first crank and drive but man she don't act like she wants to drive i don't know if it's low and the carburetor is low in fuel go get your fuel tank you gonna put electric fuel pump on it well it's in the bronco well go get it out all right, y'all, we're just going to see if maybe getting fuel to the carburetor will be good. <laughs> Woo, that thing backfired then. Hit it. You're still trying to <laughs> Hold on, stop. You got a foot feed now. Yes. You got a foot feed if you want to try it. I don't know if it's doing anything. Carburetor don't seem to be right. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're flooding it when you did that. Crank it. You got it in gear. <laughs> Woo, about to hit bud. Go. <laughs> Think the timing may be too far advanced. You're running good. <laughs> Do it. Make sure you get it in reverse. Crank her up. You got her smoking like a dickens. Let me, let me recharge the timing a little bit. Crank it up. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> hey, you want me to cut it off? Hold on, man. This falls off me going down the hill. All right, y'all. We're uh, it ain't going nowhere. It is too. <laughs> Right. Y'all, we don't have a clue. Get in there, old man. We gotta hurry. <laughs> it's 59 Etzel just cranked up about five minutes ago. <laughs> just let her. Now she's running slick as a whistle. I don't reckon your windows won't roll down. <laughs> Look at that door. That door still ain't coming open. Oh, it runs good though. <laughs> All it was was carburetor the whole time. I think we had like 17 carburetors, 14 batteries. Hopefully he's gonna be coming back this way. This is our uh this is our drag alley. There it is. Look at it, y'all. <laughs> Better slow down, old man. Oh, I walked all that way. Man, he done run it through the trees up there. Hey, we blew the cobwebs out of it. That thing runs, don't it? Man, I, I cleaned them bridges. <laughs> I saw you. What, you couldn't slow down? I couldn't. I couldn't turn it. I tried to turn it off, but I had it in low gear. Oh, it, it was, was still, still going. going that fast. It was too fast. I'm so no way to kill it, so I just eat the bushes up. Yeah, we need to not do that anymore. We need to kill I'm, switch. I was getting ready to go out those You mountains. reckon she run a little hot? Lift it up. You reckon we need to put some water in it next time? Might be. Oh, that ain't hot. That's just steam that's coming off of that. Copper ready. I ain't got no board to hold it up, but oh, we can take the gas pump on. Yep. All right, look. <laughs> did you feel me going through the bushes? I did. I don't know how good it came up on camera. I went through them bushes and just <laughs> eat up my side over here. You might have scratched it. Might have scratched some of that. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look you at got... all in my chrome i'm glad you didn't run it in that old chevrolet over there i was trying to get by <laughs> uh, i was talking when you, shut for some reason now when you came by me i told you to uh shut. when i open it down in there it tripped it well i guess you got to push it down well, push it, it down in there now. when i opened it in there it won't shut no need some w you got look at the lights the doggone dome light works. Woo! <laughs> I got something. <laughs> Did the brake lights work? Oh, I couldn't. I didn't. should have been on the whole time because the brake pedal was on the floor. <laughs> I didn't I see it. it. but it wasn't doing no good. <laughs> All right, y'all. I believe we, we got a good running engine. We're stupid. Uh, yeah, we're crazy. But it was fun, and he enjoyed it. So uh, we got a good running engine, even though we don't know... I think the whole time all it was was gas and then getting the points set after yeah. we uh, missed I with the points. I don't know why they have to be gaps so far. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's more, it's... It's an eighth inch gap. <laughs> it ain't eighth like inch, it. but like it's it. a big, it's a big gap. I told y'all earlier when we first opened up the carburetor, I said, that ain't a match, that's a match stick. Saying, you know, it's about that wide. And it literally, for this car to run, it is about that wide, which I don't understand. But uh, but she's running and she's actually running pretty good. 
So we need to get a coolant system on it. We need to get brakes on it. Uh, and a lot of things we got going. But hey, y'all, we bought a 1958. 59. 59. 1959 Edsel Ranger. And last tag was 1973. 1983. 73. Come look. Oh, 1973. I've been saying 83 the whole time. That's a 73. 1973, that, the year I graduated is. high school. My goodness, 1973, that's 40 plus years. Yeah. It's uh, 73 is almost, that's 40. 43 would be 50 years. <laughs> yeah, almost 50 years since this car has been tagged. Y'all want to crank it up? You want to crank it up one more time or you good? I'm good. Well, we can crank it. Shoot. I'm going to raise the hood. I ain't going to put it in gear no more. Though. That was scary. <laughs> I thought I don't have to run into my Bronco up there. Whoo! Well, let's see if it'll crank. All right. Got to put the juice uh, to it. No, we're good. I you don't want to crank it with no gas. Yep, just see if she'll run. See if she'll crank, how easy she'll crank up. If it jumps. Okay, let me pat the foot down. <laughs> Running slick as a lizard. Oh, great, better than it all. Oh. Generator ain't working. No, yep. we, we don't know if generator's working or not. Yeah, we took the power off yeah, the. We took uh, the power off. All right, y'all, we thank y'all so very much for watching. We have had a jam up good time. I think Nikki T's actually calling me right now, but we've had a blast. We thank y'all so very much for watching. For me and the old man and this 1959 Edsel Ranger, we're ever so grateful we got it going and running and driving we in this episode. We got on three times, dried out each time. <laughs> Finally got it to run. We got it to run. We thank y'all for watching, and with always, how do we close them out? We say deuces, and may God bless. And tell all your friends. Hey, we want to thank you all again for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do so by clicking this button down below, or you can watch a video that may be suited for you or a recent upload uh, here down below. So once again, we thank you for watching. Deuces. May God bless.